Welcome to Bible Trivia number 14. Let's test your knowledge and meditate on the word. This Bible trivia is going to cover 1 Samuel chapters 10 through 14. There will be 10 questions worth 10 points each. Be sure to write your score in the comment section below. There will also be a bonus question and a song at the end. Are you ready? Let's play. In what town did the children of Israel make Saul their king? A. Hebron B. Gilgal C. Canaan D. Jerusalem The correct answer is B. Gilgal Who did the Israelites that were in the town of Jabesh Gilead ask to make a covenant with? A. Nahash the Ammonite B. Balak the Moabite C. The Philistines D. None of the above The correct answer is A. Nahash the Ammonite Why did Samuel call on the Lord to send thunder and rain? A. So the children of Israel could see their wickedness in asking for a king? B. To show the children of Israel that the Lord approved of Saul being king? C. To end the drought in the land of Gilgal? D. To flood the land of the Philistines? The correct answer is A, so the children of Israel could see their wickedness in asking for a king. Why did the people with Saul and Gilgal scatter from him? A, the Philistines gathered themselves to fight the children of Israel. B, the Philistines burnt the town of Gilgal. C, Gilgal was flooded from the thunder and rain. D, none of the above. The correct answer is A. The Philistines gathered themselves to fight the children of Israel. Who was the son of Saul? A. Kish B. Joel C. Lot D. Jonathan The correct answer is D. Jonathan Why was it foolish for Saul to offer a peace and burnt offering when he was in Gilgal? A. Saul did not follow Samuel's instructions and reacted out of fear. B. Saul did not keep the Most High's commandments. C. Saul's actions caused his kingdom to be discontinued. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D all of the above. Jonathan and his armor bearer left Saul and the Israelites without telling them. Where did they go? A. To Gibeah to search for Saul's donkey. B. To Joppa to go fishing. C. To the Philistines garrison. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C, to go to the Philistines' garrison. Why did Saul tell the Israelites not to eat any food until the evening? A, it was the Day of Atonement. B, Saul believed by doing so he would be avenged of his enemies. C, Samuel instructed Saul to give that command. D, all of the above. The correct answer is B. Saul believed by doing so, he would be avenged of his enemies. Who was the son of Kish? A. Saul B. Samuel C. Jonathan D. David The correct answer is A. Saul. 
Why did Saul instruct the Israelites to cast lots? A. To find out who sinned among the people? B. To determine if they should go to war with the Philistines? C. To determine who would replace Saul as their king? D. None of the above. The correct answer is A. To find out who sinned among the people. And now for the bonus question worth 25 points. Who was Ahinoam? Be sure to write your answer in the comment section below along with your total score. If you've enjoyed playing Bible trivia, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more Bible trivia and also share this with a friend. Now let's get into the song. Thanks for playing. Praise God. I know it's gonna cost me The cost is not greater than the cross where you bought me I was lost and you sought me I was ignorant, you taught me I was impotent against my enemies You fought for me I exist for your glory Never for mine I never would shine If it wasn't for your spirit inside You made me alive When I was dead in trespasses The passion of Christ Left my sin in the past tense Every good and perfect gift Comes from your hand You set me back on course When I run from your plan No excuse to refuse to lift my voice Because the gospel is true There's always reason to rejoice and that don't mean that my sorrow is inconspicuous But when I grieve, I got a greater joy in the midst of it The joy of knowing I will see you face to face And it's all to the praise of your glorious grace Praise God Fountain of faithful praise, let it flow from the depths of my heart like great lakes. Let my soul be the sweetness that spreads its fragrance. Save me from the love of the world that you created. More than the God whose beautiful hands made it. Break me from pride and consecrate me. Make me feel the weight of my sin, sorrow, and safety. Let me sing with the saints of your great salvation. And join in the songs of all creation. Let the winds obey, the oceans wave, the mountains cave. Let every star you place display grace. Let my speech do the same as the skies proclaim. Let everything that has life and breath bless your name. Let the earth be the stage where all creation aims to heaven in endless praises and adoration. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and 